There are three important logic gates that I would like to discuss in this um, video. So this is NAND, NOR and XOR. So I'll put the symbols here. So for NAND it is simply the inverted version of AND. That's why we put a circle at the end. So this is a NAND function. The other one is NOR that is very similar to OR the section of the circle at the end. An XOR it does resemble the OR but it has this other parenthesis here that's why it's called XOR it is an it is also exclusive OR. So we have NAND, NOR, and exclusive OR. So let's develop the truth tables for these functions. So these are our inputs for NAND. So it's going to be very similar to the operation of AND, but everything is going to be complemented. So the output is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0. And if you look at this table, you can tell the output will only be zero when both inputs are one. In all the other cases, the output the the output is going to be one. Let's look at nor. I'm just putting all the input combinations here and writing the output. In this case, the input will be the output f will be 1 only if both inputs are 0. As soon as one of the inputs get 1, the output is going to be 0 for nor. Let's look at the exclusive or so you can have an idea of exclusive or it is somewhat like or but it excludes uh, some combinations so as you as you look at the table the function output would be one only if the inputs are not equal to each other. So this is almost like a comparator. If the inputs are equal to each other, the output is going to be zero. That is a function of XOR. And the XOR, if you look at the truth table and the, the function here, we can write these by using these two mean terms because the function is going to be the mean terms of 1 and 2 and those are a not b or a b not so that is the function for the x gate xor gate 